Is self-harm personal or communal? Parshas Re'e, Devorim, Yodalad, Posuk Aleph. We read two Averas, which, so to speak, counted as mitzvahs by the Sefer HaChinuch separately as number 467 and 468, where we learn that a person should not mutilate themselves on account of the dead or an idol. The Posuk reads, Bonim Atem Lahashem Elokechem. You are the children of the Lord your God. Lo sis godadu, velo sosimu karcha bein einechem lames. Do not slash yourselves, do not cut yourselves, and do not intentionally tear the hair of your head above the, above the place between your eyes in a way of expressing, expressing grief. This refers to an ancient Amorite mourning practice. Hashem tells us, Bonim atem la Hashem alokechem. You are the children of Hashem. You should not behave like that. You are the chosen people. Do not allow yourself to suffer excessive anguish over something that Hashem has caused to happen. The Sopharno tells us, It's not appropriate to to display excessive grief over the loss of a relative because we have Hashem on our side. He is closer to us than any relative and he can give us any support that we need, more support than anyone else. Rabbi David Foreman brought to my attention the etymological link between the word karcha and korach. What on earth would an ancient Amorite mourning practice have to do with korach? We're commanded in this week's Sedra not to tear out our hair when we mourn, not to mutilate our bodies. There's an impulse that a person in a moment of grief could turn rage into rage against themselves and mutilate their body. When an individual attacks themselves, they literally tear their hair out. They mutilate their head by pulling their hair, the leader of their body. When a community mourns the loss of itself, as was the case with Korach and its rebellion, it too attacks its head. And Korach attacked Moshe and Aaron, the heads of Bnei Israel, when he started to rebel. The Torah teaches us, do not tear out your hair as a way of punishing yourself. Do not allow blind rage to come and attack yourself. Korah's rebellion was his grief that became communally destructive, but ultimately self-destructive as well. The prohibition about putting a bald spot, a korcha, on your head as a mark of mourning is in the same posuk as lo sis godadu, another prohibition. We are not allowed to slash ourselves in mourning. It's another form of self-mutilation. But Chazal had a very interesting way of interpreting lo sis godadu, and it, they teach us that it doesn't only mean that one shouldn't slash themselves in mourning, but the Gemara Nyavomus tells us lo sis godadu is related to the word aguda, groups, lo sa'asu agudos agudos, do not make yourself into small groups. We're commanded not only to not cut ourselves up by slashing ourselves, God forbid, but do not cut the community, do not chop up the community. Don't make yourselves into small groups. Rashi explains that the Torah would not survive if everyone was doing their own thing. We have to have a united Torah. The rabbis should debate and discuss contentious issues until they reach an agreement. The Ritva explains that the word siskodadu has got two softs and two dalads, which teaches us there's a dual meaning. We can understand here that we shouldn't slash ourselves personally, God forbid, or slash the community. I'll put the psukim that he uses to, pro- to prove that the words is go do can be with one sof or one dalad um, in the notes. Chazal saw a link between karcha and korach, and they extended this link to losis go to do as well. Korach was upset. He was attacking the head, the leaders of the community, but he attacked Moshe and Aaron. What actually happened? He was divided, dividing the community against itself. Hashem tells us, do not, we're commanded not to, do, not to slash ourselves, not to slash our own body, but also not to slash the community apart. So when this week, when we read Devorim, Perak Yudalad, Posak Aleph, we can understand this has got like a double meaning. Do not slash yourself, do not harm yourself, do not tear your hair out, but also do not tear the community apart. Do not rip apart the community by working in small groups. Do not treat yourself as if like you're separate. We are all one. We are all one B'nai Israel. We are united. We've unfortunately um, 
unfortunately we've had, we have had much suffering and whatever suffering we have we have to realize that it comes from Hashem um bonim atem we are we are Hashem's children and we have to remember that we must not do anything chas v'shalom, to cut ourselves ourselves or cut ourselves off from the community i wish everybody a good shabbos